Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today we're going to do a is it a dupe video. So eventually I want to do it on the eyes to see if it's a dupe and if you can tell the difference. But for now we're just going to do hand swatches. So I got this palette ages ago. It's the W724K Gold Rush. Um, when I didn't know if I wanted the Natasha Denona um, Gold Palette. I didn't know if I wanted to spend that amount of money um, and I was always going to, like, after I'd used this, I did like it. I mean, this eyeshadow formula, W7's eyeshadow formula, if you're not aware of it, it is powdery and you can see it in the palette just how powdery and chunky they are. But you can see that this is definitely a dead ringer for the Natasha Denona Gold palette, which we're going to be comparing. Um, I don't need that on it anymore. I think once we've compared it on the eyes, I think I'm going to either give this to my niece or to my mum. Um, I don't need two of the palettes that are the same. Um, but the reason I thought about doing this is because you can't actually get this palette anymore. And I didn't know that you couldn't until I'd watched someone's Instagram feed. Um, I was so devastated and I mean so devastated that I couldn't get this palette. And I was really, really lucky. A really good friend sent it to me who I will always be grateful that she did. Um, it does mean a lot. It's probably one of those palettes that are in my collection that mean the most to me. Apart from the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome palette um, that my mum got me for Christmas. These are the two palettes that, if there was a fire, and um, touch wood there isn't, um, but if there was, I'd grab for these first because they mean that much to me. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So you can see, obviously, that they're both like in gold packaging, but this one is definitely more looks. Um, so this one comes... The only difference is this one comes with a brush. So let's take the brush out. It's quite a good brush though, guys. I'm actually going to put that on the bed because I'm always looking for brushes. Um, so I'll show you. Right, so that's what it looks like. So ages ago, Lisa from Banning Panning and Beyond, um, she had this Natasha Denona Gold palette and I had this one. And we was going to do... A comparison video or we was gonna see if we could create a similar kind of look but we couldn't really make out if the shades were the same so I'm gonna swatch it on the hand and just see how similar they are I'm gonna just bring you down so you can see what I'm doing um, we'll put the Natasha Denona one here we'll swatch no actually we'll put the we'll put the W724K one there and I'm going to have to try and figure out because they're not going to be in exactly the same place I think Golden Boy is supposed to be this one so let's swatch Golden Boy yeah it is definitely that one I'm going to swatch this one a couple of times because it is really sheer so that's that one it's been swatched three times and this one in the Natasha Denona Gold palette is my favourite eyeshadow. So that's how I know it's that one. Um, and that one is Lime Chrome. So it's just this one here. That's that one. Right, so they're not exact dupes. I'm gonna just let me swatch that at least one more time. So they're not exact dupes. That one's got more gold in it. That's got... This one isn't a duochrome, basically. This one is. This one has got, like, a green shift to it. You should be able to see that. At the end of this video, I'll turn the lights down so you can see it. Right, so that's that one. Right, so the next shade then we'll do is this green one in the Natasha Denona, which is called python and it's called filthy rich in the w7 one now paulina um did basically where she used natasha denona on one eye and w7 on the other and you couldn't tell the difference with the look guys um so that's python is that no that's filthy rich we're going in now with python so obviously natasha denona is going to be smoother
Right, so they look really, really similar. I think Python's a little bit lighter. But on the eyes, like I said, Paulina Beauty did a look with it. I'll try and find it. And if I can find her look, then I'll add it to the video somewhere. Um, you couldn't tell the difference, like I said earlier. And the next shade is Sparks. So in the Natasha Denona palettes, that, that white duochrome. And then... In the W7, it's Goldie. It's a powdery hot mess. You can barely see it. So that's Goldie there. Ignore this pink. I've just been swatching something else before this. Um, and then Sparks. I mean, that's not much more pigmented, to be honest. Oh, they look like dupes. Looks like the same shade. So, Goldie and Sparks. They're definitely similar. Let's get another tissue. Okay, the next shade is Mega in the W7 palette and Aria in the Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to put these here. Right, so the W7 one is actually really nice and smooth. Aria. Yeah, they're similar. Them too. I'd say that one's just got a bit more of a brown undertone than Natasha Denona one. But on the eyes, I think they'd look really, really similar. And then we've got to find a Jeep Voy Carver. Hmm. Is this tricky? I think it's going to be that one. Good as. Very sheer. I mean, nothing's going to be as good as Natasha Denona, is it? I mean, come on. But if you don't know if you want to spend £111 on a palette, then it's a good way of actually finding out. They need to bring this one back, though, I think. Um, so, Carver. Yeah, really similar. Except they they feel like cream to powder formula, whereas this one is just a powder. But yeah, on the eyes, you're not going to be able to see that, I don't think. Um, right, so now we're going in with Aurora, this green one here, in the Natasha Denona one. And then Dirty Cash in this W7 one. I think they're going to be really similar. So Dirty Cash first. couple of swatches shall we do three just for kicks so that's three swatches of that one that's dirty cash um, and then we're going in with Aurora yes yeah, so similar I don't know how companies get away with doing this they must buy like, they must have bought the Natasha Denona one and tried to recreate the formula. There's, they're just too similar, guys. Right, so that's the swatches we've got so far. So I'm going to continue up my arm here. You've just got to bear in mind that it's going to get drier because it's quite dry in my hand. My arm, sorry. Right, the next shade in the W7 palette will be Millions. This one here. She's got a little bit of hard pan. 
Well, shall, let's put it here. It's a really nice mustard brown. And then the next shade is Dijon. It's not really that hard to know which are dupes and which aren't. Right, so Dijon is deeper, just a smidge deeper. Um, but again, on the eye, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference. Um, the next one would be Loaded, this beautiful gold here and then in the Natasha Denona it would be Oro, Oro, O-R-O um, So let's just do that one, we'll do that here Yeah, I would say that the W71 is very sheer but some of the ones from the Natasha Denona one is sheer as well, so yes, um there is that. That though is not sheer. She is not playing. And this one only needs one swatch. But you can tell they are similar. Okay, so the next shade then would be well-fed this deepest brown in the palette just watch that twice so that's wealthy from the w7 now let's so i don't know where i left off i was just saying she into a palette like this natasha denona gold what I was thinking though is maybe in a few months time buying it and just seeing if it's similar to the W7 one um, just seeing like what the formula is like because I've never tried a Shein palette let me know if you've tried their makeup and what you think of it now we're going in with Phil's Gold is it? yeah Phil's Gold this one is really really pigmented but also it's um it's quite powdery, so that's Fool's Gold there. In the Natasha Denona palette, guys, it's called Varis. They look similar. Oh my gosh, they could be the same shade. Okay. Yeah, so Golden Boy, which is this one here, is a dupe of brass. It's not a dupe of lime chrome we're gonna go we're gonna go into the lime chrome dupe in a second i'd say brass is a little bit more pigmented that's brass there and that's golden boy but let's see what it's like when you build it up a little bit i'll just build golden boy up i don't need to build the natasha denona one up so can you see just how similar they are right, i'm just gonna get rid of that lime chrome one we used here and go over it Right, so that's Lime Chrome there from the Natasha Denona. Um, so now, where was the other one? Oh, it was this So Solid shade here from the W7. So let's just check this one out. It literally is hardly giving me anything. I'm really going to have to put in like a lot of swatches here, I think. But yeah, I was right. This one definitely is the dupe for Lime Chrome. So, it's a lot more sheer, um, but the dupes for one another. I don't think it would show up as a dupe on the eye though, guys. So, if I was going to do is it So, if I was going to do is it a dupe palette, I wouldn't use Lime Chrome from the Natasha Denona palette to kind of show you that. So the next shade is Sandstone from the Natasha Denona palette. So that would be Mega from the W7 palette. So let's just swatch these. So I was just saying guys, do you like these kind of videos? Because if you don't, I won't do them. I want to do videos that you want me to do and that you enjoy watching. So them two are real, real similar. Um, the next one is the Duke Boy Alchemist from the Natasha Denona palette. So then it's going to be Billion 
that one there. Do it here. Right, that's slightly deeper. So Alchemist is slightly deeper there, so I wouldn't say they're dupes for one another. Um, and the next shade is Teak. And then that would be High Life in the W7 palette. So we'll do that there. Where are you? Oh, high life there. And then take in the Natasha Denona. So familiar. And then the last shade in the Natasha Denona is Orium. And I'm just trying to figure out what it is I've not used. Loaded. No, that's not a jeep. I don't think I've used loaded. I think loaded should have been a jeep for aura, and then maybe billion. Right, let's just swatch the Natasha Denona one, which is. Orium. Do that there. And then... I mean, is it... No, I don't think it's good as because that's got hardly any pigment. And I think Billion is too bronzy. Oh, actually, yeah, they're probably dupes for one another. So this one's the W7 one. That one is the Natasha Denona one. And then I think I got one wrong. Aura. Was it Aura? Yeah. This Aura shade from the Natasha Denona. Here, we'll put it. and loaded I don't know if I got this wrong or not but we're just swatching them again there you can see just how similar they are um, so that's both palettes swatched out I'm going to just turn the light down a little bit so you can just see the swatches so that's what they look like Right, so what do I think? I definitely think that these two palettes are dupes. <laughs> you can't beat Natasha Denona's formula though. It's, there's no way that W71 is as good as the Natasha Denona palette. I'm really pleased that I've got this Natasha Denona gold in my collection. I'm more than happy to do a comparison side by side. Um, wearing one on one eye, one on the other eye if you want me to do that just like this video again if we get 10 likes on it then I'll definitely do the comparison video if we get less than 10 likes then I'll probably not to be honest I do only want to film the videos that you want me to film um, and I think 10 likes is reasonable on doing comparison videos because quite a lot of work goes into them um, you can definitely see how much W7 have wanted to dupe the Natasha Denona gold palette. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, but yeah guys, this concludes the video. The only sad thing is um, you can't actually buy this one anymore. I'm sure you'd be able to get it off Depop or Macari or somewhere like that. But would you really want to be buying a second hand palette? Um, because you don't know how long that person's had it. Um, that was my one gripe of me actually buying it. You don't know how long the person's had it. And the ones I was seeing, 
didn't have this plastic thing on and the plastic is annoying don't get me wrong it, it flips it doesn't stay in one place but you need it if you're doing youtube videos so that you can tell people what shades you're going in with in case they want to recreate the exact same look so you do actually need to know what shades they are it doesn't say anything on the back of the palette nor on the back it does actually say on the back of the box but in a lot of these um selling groups they don't actually give you the box they've already thrown the box out so like when it comes to expensive palettes like this i wouldn't buy a second hand one it's, it's just not something i would do i would probably try and get a dupe of it somewhere else and i wanted a better dupe than this because i knew that they were quite sheer um i i knew that alter ego did one and i was going to buy the palette from Alter Ego. Um, I didn't know Shein do one, so Shein do one, and they apparently ship out pretty quickly. I was looking on their website the other day, and it said that they could ship it out, and it would be with me by the 11th of February. So that's two weeks shipping. Um, so I would say if you are thinking that you really do like this um, palette, and either get the W71, but just bear in mind there are some eyeshadows in there that are sheer. Um, like I said, if you want me to do a video with both palettes, I'll only be too happy to do it so you can actually see just how sheer they are on the eyes and if it's worth your money you actually buying it. I think this one was maybe £7.99, so it's not expensive compared to £111. Um, but like I said, you can't get the Natasha Denona one anyway, but what you can get is she brought out the Natasha Denona Mini Gold so you can get that and that does have a few shades similar to what's in here so if you want me to do a comparison between the mini gold and then the full size let me know um but yeah we're going to leave this here thank you for watching i really do appreciate it please like subscribe share and comment and i'll see you in my next one bye guys